Hello and welcome to the Stanley Hotel Room Review here in Boston, Lincolnshire in the United Kingdom. And this hotel is located on the same side of the river where the bus station is. Literally about five minutes walk to the bus station, yes. And about eight to ten minute walk to the train station. So it is located in a very good location. And then you have the other side, which was the other hotel. And yes, if you're wondering, are they owned by the same company? Yes, they are. This hotel and the other hotel is owned by the same company. There are a few things I've noticed, all, noticed already. One, this room is a lot bigger and it feels more comfy. Two, it smells 10 times cleaner and it looks 10 times clean and it looks 10 times cleaner as well. Yes. And the style is a lot better. That is all I'm going to give you. I'm going to turn the camera around and show you the room and then stay tuned for the end review right at the end. Yes. So there are two windows instead of one. And yeah, that's all our information I'm going to give you before the end review. Apart from that, I hope you enjoyed this hotel room review. As you walk in the room, you're greeted by your lovely single bed with your towels on it. Let me sniff them. Yep. Yep. Let me sniff the bed too. See if it's clean. Yep. All of them smell clean. Over here, you have two plug sockets and a USB. Yes, there is a lot of dust on here. Down here you have your hair dryer. Does have a tight it is dusty, needs a clean. Floor is spotless. Now over here you have your information. To lock it, just do that. To open it, do that. You have a dimmer switch. You have a light that does some switch that does something. Your Wi-Fi password. A box up there. A heater slash radiator. A lovely desk and a lovely chair. Is the chair comfy? Certainly better than the chair last night. And I like the way they put it in. You got a bigger bin down there than yesterday. You can order food, but food is out of hours now, so you can't. Tea and coffee making facilities here. Clean, you got a teaspoon this time. Yes, that is clean. That's clean. And there's a mark on that, so I wouldn't use it. Now, is the kettle clean? The smallest kettle I've seen? No. I would not use that kettle. Two more plug sockets with a USB, a lovely mirror. The TV last night was very slow. Hopefully this one's better. Love story. Yep, TV works. Your view outside. I'm going to pop this up actually. The windows could do with a clean. Nice picture there and there. Another window there. Your bed from this side, single bed. Lovely. I'm in room nine. Lovely doubly. 
TV is a 42 inch, probably 32 inch, maybe. Now, these are very, very dusty. I would not use them at all. Seems okay. Fan, this room, compared to last night, doesn't have an iron or an ironing board, but that's okay. That's good. I like the wardrobe space. Now, they put it up there. I don't know what this is for, so I can't. Maybe it's for that up there. Don't know. Now they put the towel there, right there. That's the floor mat. It feels dirty under the tap. That's because it is dirty. Good fine water. Don't know what that does, but yeah. That's on, nice. Doesn't have the stripey things. Oh yes it does. So, your shower. Good flowing shower there. And a good shower there. Your bathroom shower here, your toilet spotlessly clean. Good flush bin there, and you got your brush, and you got that toilet paper. Spare toilet paper in there. You got your hand wash here, do that there. You got your soap there. right in there now i'm going to test out the shower because i'm going to go for a drink or two yes so here is your lovely lovely bed yes so i'm going to test out the shower the shower seems to be a lot better than last night's yes what else the Wi-Fi, I've already tested, you're getting about 17.3 mega, 17 megabytes per second. That's upload speeds and download, you're getting anywhere between 37 and 45. I would expect it to be better as they use some BT in this hotel, but it is what it is. Yes, indeed. And yes, you are gonna hear noise from the road, because the windows are older style windows, they're not double glazed windows. Yes, indeed. So, that covers everything for now. And then I will do the end review in the morning. Yep, I will do it in the morning. Just check the bed. Clean. Clean. There is a hair here. A few hairs. Not on. Clean. Apart from that, I don't see any more hairs. Nope. There was about two hairs. There was about two hairs. Oh, I found.
So yeah. I found about a couple of heads. Disgusting. But the beds seem to be all right, apart from the hairs, which shouldn't be happening. They should not be happening. I'm gonna lift up here actually. See down here is all fine. Down here is all fine, there's a hair there. Oh, there's more hairs over here. Yuck. So I have changed rooms. That is because the bed was so, so hairy. Yes, the bed was so, so hairy. This room is quite warm. So the window will be open while I'm outside. Yes, it will. And this room is lovely. We will check out the bed and everything in a second. This room looks even more cleaner. Yes, it does. Here is your lovely double bed. Spotless. The Lee looking Lee clean. First thing I'm going to do actually is check the pillows. Yep, they look good. They look clean. Pillows are clean. Now is the bed sheet underneath clean yes indeed just a bit of fluff just a bit of fluff Do that back up. Do that back up. Put the pillow back over there. And put that over there. Now the other pillow does look yellowy. A bit yellowy. Maybe it's just looking through. Now, this pillow isn't clean. So I won't be using this pillow. Just got to remember, I won't be using this pillow. Just put you there for a second. That pillow isn't clean, but the other pillow is. Now, coming over here, you have your wardrobe space. And yes, the hangers are clean this time. There's some more pillows up there I can use. So I might use one of them. Your Tea and coffee making facilities over here. This desk. Nice desk. That was glued to the table. Clean. 
stained. Stained and dirty. Stained and dirty. Now is the kettle clean? Yes, the kettle is clean. This time, there is a light here. That works. The floor is clean. Just a bit of yellowy stained here. I'm going to check, there's two plug sockets here. Bed is clean. Just a bit of dust. Bed is clean. On this side, so that's a good thing. That pillow isn't clean. Two plug sockets there. And a USB in it. There's two USBs on each side and two plug sockets. Light works. Does the TV work? Massive TV this time. Yes, the TV works. You got that radiator, heater, chairs, lovely chairs. They look clean. You've got this here. Nice and clean. You've got your Wi-Fi password. Your door and your fire information and your floor plan. Hair dryer down there. Is it dusty this time? No, they've actually cleaned it this time. Oh, there's dust. A lot cleaner though. Don't know what that's for. Your bathroom. Love the lighting in the bathroom. Doesn't work. Shower, is it any good? Okay. And that's good, yes. I'll be using the shower in a minute. Your bed's here. Lovely, lovely bed. Bin. Floor is clean. You got a mirror, food, and everything. Look at the detail in the room. Absolutely stunning room. Stunning, stunning, stunning. So, one of the pillows does have hair on it, so I'll be changing it for one of the pillows up there in the wardrobe space. Yes, I'll be checking out the shower before I go outside and have one pint somewhere. Then, oh yeah, and also we'll be checking out the Wi-Fi to see if it's any better in this room. And yeah, lovely chair. Lovely chair, absolutely lovely chair. And yes, your bathroom is here, got your shower going. You got your floor towel. Nice and 
Last sink. Spare toilet roll under there. Toilet roll up there. Is the toilet clean? Yes. Good flush, towel rack, and so on. And finally, your bed. Massive room. The Stanley Hotel is located in the heart of Boston in Lincolnshire in the United Kingdom and it is directly in the town centre. It's on the same side as the Weatherspoons and the bus station. Yes. And yes, it is located on a main road. And be aware, some rooms don't have double glazing windows, and some do. So the rooms that don't have the double glazing windows will, will have noise. And unfortunately, I had to change my room as there was lots of hair on the bed and the bed had not been cleaned or changed. Now, I did change rooms and unfortunately, I had the same problem with one of the pillows. One pillow was clean, one pillow wasn't in the second room. Yes. So, the second room was a lot nicer and a lot cleaner but there was still hair on the bed and on the pillows. So that may tell you or give you a clue whether or not I will stay here again. And yes, find out later in the end review if I will stay here or not again. So the first room, let's talk about that. Absolutely spotless, hoovered and everything. The bed However, we'll get to in a second, bathroom is spotless, even though it was small, it was spotlessly clean. But, one thing to note, when coming to the bed, the bed looked very clean on the top, and then once you pulled back the bed cover, and you pulled back the sheet, there was untold amount of hair. And on that one pillow, there was a blood stain, then the second pillow was so hairy, it's like it hadn't been chained for days. It was vile, to the point I wanted to throw up. I actually requested to leave, but I was refused. A refund. But I would have kept complaining, if the second room was a lot worse, but it wasn't. Even though the bathroom wasn't as clean as the first one in the second room. At first glance, I was really happy with the hotel. Then when I got into the final details, I wasn't. So, even though the first room was not as small as the second room, it still wasn't great. Now, moving on from that, The second room was really nice. It looked really nice. It had two chairs in the room. Actually three. And it had a really nice desk area and everything. But I'm going to have to say the bed was still not clean. One pillow was stained and had a bit of hair on it. Not as much as the first room. And when you pulled back the covers, there was a little bit of hair. But the cleanliness of the bed was not all there. Even though the bed was nice and comfy, it still should have been a lot cleaner in my eyes. That is my own opinion of the room and the bed. Because the room isn't clean if the bed isn't clean. Is my opinion? Yes. So, 
The bathroom wasn't as spotless. I did find a hair or two. Yes. And the floor could have been cleaned a bit better. Overall, I think the cleanliness of this hotel isn't like it says it is on the internet. So, I'm going to go with, it's a nice styled double room, which smells nice, but doesn't have a very clean bed, as it has quite a few hairs on it. And secondly, the bathroom needs a good scrubbing, as I did find one or two hairs. However, the Wi-Fi was punching around between, 90, between 17 to 19 megabytes per second upload speed and anywhere between 39 to 55 download speed. That's megabytes per second. Better than the first hotel, but for BT, I think it's gone da downhill, BT, as, yeah. Now, phone signal doesn't assist in this hotel if you're on Vodafone. I couldn't get a signal apart from 2G signal. That's ring, ring. Hello, how are you doing, Dad? How are you doing, Mum? That's basically the only signal you're going to get in the phone if you don't use the internet. The TV did work. However, it did lag, not as much as the first hotel, but it certainly did lag nonetheless. Now, would I stay here again? The short answer is no, I would not stay here again. The reason being is the hairy bed and the bathroom could be cleaned better. But it is a very nice, styly looking room. It looks like a bit like a cottage room. Shall I say? But no, I don't recommend it and I'm never staying here again. Unless someone can convince me that they have upped the level of cleanliness. Then I will stay here again. So, the cleanliness score overall, 3.9 out of 10. That's for the bedroom because the bed was hairy. Now the bathroom, that's both. That's, we're going off the second. We're not going to bother with the first one. We'll go off the second. The bathroom, 5.5 .5 out of 10 all day long. I'm just going to simply give it a 4 out of 10 overall for cleanliness. Smell, smelt fresh. So 8.5 out of 10 for smell in both the bathroom and the room. Customer service. 10 out of 10 all day long. Happy to check. Well, happy to change my room, but wouldn't give me a refund. I think she was willing to give me a refund if I complained again. I don't really remember the full conversation. But yeah. The size of the first room, of the second room. Not the biggest and it's not the smallest. 8 out of 10 all day long. The feel of the room, 8 out of 10. The style of the room, 8 out of 10. However, overall, I'm going to rate this hotel a measly 4.1 out of 10. Never, ever seen... A pillow is bad as that in the first room. Disgusting. Absolutely vile. Thinking about it is making me want to... <clears throat> oh, sorry. Be sick. 4.1 is the final score. Yes. So, let me know in the comments what you think about the hairy bed and the hairy pillow. Yes. Apart from that, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the very next video right after this one. 
Bye for now. Bye. Hello, everybody. My name is JBM Travels, the true UK traveller. It was absolutely rancid. Disgusting. It was dreadful. Just unbelievable. Thumbs up. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Bye.